Join the lightweight men's under 23 and the lightweight men category. We're going to say a little closer to home. He's from Mexico. He's 22 years old from Baja. He has a third fastest projected time, and he's the under 23 favorite, two time world rowing championship medalist at the under 23 level. Give it up for Alexis Lopez. Secondly, he told me this morning that he rode the bike for 15 kilometers and that was the longest warm-up he ever had for an indoor rowing race. He's a 34-year-old from Italy, two-time Olympian, Martino Goretti. And first, the hot favorite for the lightweight men's title, 25-year-old from Mainz, Germany, the 2018 World Rowing Champion in the lightweight men's single skull and the holder of the world best time at 6.41.03 on the water. Give it up for Jason Osborne. And ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome all the other athletes of the lightweight men and lightweight men under 23 category as they enter the stage.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get ready for that race. Under 23, lightweight man and open lightweight man. Sit ready. Attention. And there we are, underway with the heavy favorite in the middle over there, air number 15. That's Jason Osborne of Germany. He's the world growing champion in the lightweight single this, this past year. World record holder even in that bow class, 641. But don't let that deceive you. He's not gonna pull a 641 over here. He's aiming for 606. 606 and maybe we can even encourage him to go a little bit faster to go towards that magical six minute mark and that would be something special for a lightweight rower i'm sure you've seen the youtube videos from the likes of hendrick stephenson when he does that crazy thing pulling 556 as a lightweight i'm sure you've heard about jeremy azu doing the same thing in france but we need a german athlete to join the ranks of those legends in lightweight rowing and we also need to see whether or not Alexis Lopez there on earth number six can keep pace with those two giants in lightweight rowing. Martino Goretti and Jason Osborne already underway. Goretti, a little bit of a cheek there, trying to edge out the German favorite at the moment. Goretti represented Italy at the 2018 World Championships and he lined up next to Osborne. Exactly. So Lopez of Mexico, Osborne of Germany, and Martino Goretti of Italy all raced a single in Plovdiv, Bulgaria last year. Actually, in the semi-final of the lightweight men's single, it was Lopez and Goretti squaring off against each other. Both failed to make the final. They were fourth and fifth, respectively. But it was this guy on the right, Erd number 15, who ended up with the gold medal in his hands. And I'm sure that this time today, on the 24th of February, there are two lightweights who would rather, you know, see whether or not they can sort of upstage the world champion. It would be something. Maybe a little redemption? Yeah, a little bit of redemption. And Lopez of Mexico, he must have seen that race we just saw with the lightweights, where his namesake was actually keeping track a long time as well as the Schaefer. And he's also keeping track. But look at Peralta of Mexico also tagging along. And Smith of the United States also Tomjano. It's really tight up front. And Moretti, Goretti and Osborne, neck and neck. There's only two meters in between. And we're already approaching the halfway point. Question is, has Goretti paced himself correctly? Does he have to pay the price in the second kilometer for the, the blistering fast pace? And what can Jason Osborne do? come the second the second thousand meters Lopez is leading the lightweight men's under 23 race right now by about 20 meters but behind them it's really close we have Peralta Smith and Demjano side by side all pulling 135 and also here side by side you can see the red Fiamma Giallo the red jersey of the Italian team the police in Italy. Martino Goretti is a member of them. And right, you can see Jason Osborne also trying to crack down on that pesky Italian that had the guts and the nerve to actually leave him out. And he's still, he's still in the, he's still in chase. He's still up there. Can we note that it's 800 meters to go and both these gentlemen are at 40 strokes per minute. So they were going to maintain or go faster than 40 strokes per minute for the rest of this time. This is a pretty high stroke rate. And Lopez only 21 meters behind as the leading part of under 23 athletes tries to close that gap and maybe even upstage Martino Goretti. There's a, there you can see, that's the open lightweight men with Alex Twist of the United States currently in third position. Alex Twist from Seattle trying to measure himself with the absolute top of the world. And you can see right now, it's starting to get hard for Martino Goretti and 41 strokes a minute still for Jason Osborne. You Question, see. how the, how can he even push the rate up from this point? Osborne taking full advantage of that catch. He's just tapping it along, not even worrying about laying back in the finish. 
all the power and all the body weight is on that catch. We have it also Garetti picking it up to 43 with strokes a minute. 134, still about two seconds on average that he's losing per stroke. But maybe he has something left in the tank. Martino Garetti's not the kind of guy to give up at this stage in the race. This is the part where he likes to bite down, where he likes to say, hey, I'm still here. Are you still here? Getting very exciting. Oswald and Gretti side by side, about 10 meters separating. Yeah, we need to start focusing more on uh, Alexis Lopez because that gap between him and Goretti is starting to become smaller and smaller. It was uh, 21 meters, it's only 7 meters now. And the Mexican is really pulling hard there. You, you can see one of his compatriots, but he's sitting more to the end of the uh, end of the line as Goretti and Osborne continue their uh, their little tango together to see who's the best in the world in the open lightweight category. Lopez is still in the race, even though he's not side by side, holding it down for the under 23 men. And there we have it, 100 meters to go for Jason Osborne. This is the home straight, 40 meters to go now for him, and he's gonna claim that gold medal. It's another goal for Germany as Jason Osborne crosses the finish line, 607.5. What a time by him, and 610.7 for Martino Goretti in second place with Alexis Lopez raising his hands to the sky. His fans from Baja. Super excited about his result, winning that under 23 category. What a race from him, but also what a race by Peralta from Mexico and Domjano of the United States. They're only a second or so outside of them. The gold medal in the under 23 category. And listen as the earth goes round. Absolutely fantastic effort here by all these lightweight and under 23 men. Yeah, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A couple of strokes to go still for Wilson Lai of the United States. Erg number 35. There he comes across the finish line. We also have uh, Kiros Deal, Ramos, and Colford. Also moving towards the line with also Cruzen. Still a couple of hundred meters down from the line. So ladies and gentlemen, show your support please for the last remaining athlete who's still inside of his race, inside of the home straight. There on earth, 36 from the United States, Cruza. Only 130 to go, there he is, 36. Focus, determination, grit. Those words really describe Cruiser right now. Cruising his way to the finish line. 60 meters to go, 50 meters to go. 203 on the clock, last ounce of energy, trying to ring it out as he moves closer and closer to the virtual finish line. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for all these athletes, the lightweights, under 23, in open category. And I'm sure that Alex is standing next to someone in order to ask the secret to success on the ERG. Yeah, so I'm down here with our, our top two athletes in the lightweight men, Martino Goretti from Italy, finishing second in 6.10.7 and first, Jason Osborne from Germany, 6.07.5. I'll, I'll start with Martino. Uh, tough race, Martino. How did, how did that go for you? Uh, not according to my plan, I was here to try to beat my personal, that's 6-8, but I think a bit the time difference has uh, changed a bit my uh, performance, but I mean it's really good to be here, and really nice for me, it's the first time a day in World Championship and for sure I will come again, and I'm really happy that I was able to race with Jason. We have had a couple of good days, also cycling around here, so was fun yeah that first thousand meters you were you were kind of on schedule but yeah. sometimes it's not your day and it yeah. kind of catches up with you yeah i was noticing this morning that the legs were a bit heavy but anyway you are at the world championship so you try what you have done in training in the past month and but the thousand was eating too bad and 
So I've done 500 meters trying to save my life, and <laughs> the last 500 meter was what I was left, what I was having left. Well, still a fantastic performance. Congratulations on your silver medal. Now, Jason, did he have you worried in that first thousand at all? How are you feeling today? Um, yeah, my plan was definitely to go out fast. Uh, but when I saw that Martino was uh, very close to me, and, uh, I was a bit worried. Uh, I don't know what was happening at the start because my splits were uh, like really low. I didn't uh, think that would happen, but uh, yeah, in the end, uh, I managed to hold a good pace and then at the thousand uh, maintain that space till the end. So that was the key. Yeah, very consistent through throughout the piece, uh, and you moved on a little in that last 500 just to consolidate the win. So. Congratulations on that. Last year we saw you in the, in the lightweight single. With it being Olympic qualification year, can we assume that you'll be looking at a, a lightweight double this season? Uh, yes, for sure. I will be trying out the double. And uh, we are, of course, preparing something now with the German team. And we, I think we have some fast combinations. So there should be something fast coming up in Germany. Well, very many congratulations on your performance today. The world champion from Germany, another victory for Germany, Jason Osborne.